What's up, you guys? It's fresh. It's Thursday. I'm super white right now. Like, what the fuck? The topics for this week are the first one being a viewer had asked us about what she should do to not be in an invisible gay, pretty much. And then the second one is moving on. I'm just going to touch base on both really quick. For the first one, unless you really want to be apparent to the entire world that you're gay and you look really straight, you're going to obviously have to make extreme changes not extreme but like just make changes to your appearance the stereotypical uh gay girl is going to be like a tomboy looking girl um you don't have to necessarily cut your hair short as mine i didn't cut my hair short to look gay i had hair down to my ass crack and i just didn't fuck with it you don't have to like make real big changes but the way that you dress the way that you carry yourself people will notice it and just start to think oh she has to be gay you know what I mean? Be who you are. If you are naturally a feminine girl, stay feminine. There's nothing wrong with that because like we've uh, mentioned in previous videos before, there are a lot of girls who look very straight because they're like beautifully feminine, beautifully feminine, whatever. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like unless again, you really want everybody to know that you're gay and you look straight you're gonna have to make changes. I suggest personally just to be yourself. You're gonna probably go through phases. There's nothing wrong with trying to experiment and see where you want to be. My one friend really went full on butch. Like she buzzed her hair off, she got sleeves and she was just really carrying herself like a butch, like a dude. And um, just recently, like uh, last year, she decided to make a change. And so now she's completely femme. Like she grew out her hair, she's wearing makeup, all this stuff. And that's cool. Like, you know, that's the beauty of it is that you can always experiment with yourself. You know what I mean? And she's happy. People are going to judge whatever, whatever. And you shouldn't even give a fuck about that. that, that that's irrelevant. Do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. Just bottom line is be natural. Be yourself. You know what I mean? That's what I suggest. Hopefully that helped a bit and then the second topic moving on regardless if you do want to rekindle a friendship later just give yourself some space because although feelings will eventually subside if you make them being too close to the person that you had a fresh breakup with it's not gonna help it's gonna hold you back from trying to move on just because feelings have a way of resurfacing and it's inevitable like it's gonna happen so i suggest give yourself some space uh, for some time keep yourself busy um that's definitely something that will help out because you know you want your mind somewhere else you don't want to sulk in your freaking loneliness at home in your bedroom in the corner just flipping through pictures emails text messages all that stuff you don't want to sulk in all that stuff it's just gonna pull you down and you don't want that so keep yourself surrounded by great company if you have great friends i'm pretty sure they'll be be there to support you through whatever you're going through have that closure just like what kai said you want that you want to make sure you don't leave the relationship hanging with words unsaid it hasn't completely officially ended because you guys just kind of just let it sit there and just dissipate by itself it's not going to happen you need to make sure that you both make that official close on your relationship you want to get rid of you know all the shit that just reminds you of that person if you had a really bad breakup and you're the one that got heartbroken it, it could be hard if you don't want to throw away everything or whatever i mean at least compile everything put it in a box and hide it from yourself somewhere you don't want to constantly find yourself flipping through the shit you're just never gonna move on from there as hard as it can be you want to be as strong as possible i don't know that's just i guess the key points to uh, moving on everybody's gonna deal with it a different way but those are i feel the important things that will definitely help as far as moving on hopefully you guys have a great thursday um i have to get back to work and uh i'll see you guys next week